dagger for that kind of damage. Unless you can land a, a YOLO for him. Come on, push him. Uh oh. Down. Go ahead. Come out the shards. Our tank's gonna be on the run here. Fun. Is he gonna try to man up? Yeah, they will. Snowball in. on has got one bottle charge left. The crush on two. That's the old turnaround. Splinter Blast as well. They've already lost one. Now Funnick up against the ropes. He's gonna try and turn. Gets the decay on both heroes, but he has got nowhere to go. Still getting crush will miss. The noise? You know the, the noise? The noise sound? Mm -hmm. Like that? Oh, down bottom. Hold on though. Artez and Funnick are going at it. Amp damage. It's enough. Artez gets the kill. Now Seneko. He wants vengeance, but Cold Embrace will ruin that party. Dendi's come down. Coil only on one. Artez in a lot of trouble though. Does end up falling. Good uh, jaunt back to the backside. And now Iceberg's in. Oh god, he'll bring down the tusk. They ping out the tombstone to try to get some additional gold. Pretty good trade here for the CIS rejects. This is this like blink dagger bamboo style. Oh, way to hold that thought and boast. He wants to battle over this rune. He'll grab it. It's a bounty. Down bottom, Puck gets the regen, but Iceberg, he's going on in. There's the stampede. TSM gets tossed up. And yeah, that'll be a dead witch doctor pretty easily. He'll also just blink back to safety and every single hit also desolates as well. Like you and it doesn't even work against evasion. So like or evasion doesn't work against desolate, so you would just get annihilated. Uh, okay, that's fair enough. We'll see a smoke here from Navi. Always gonna fly. Uh oh, walks into the danger zone at the wrong time. Walrus punch, waning rift, and uh, Undying will secure the kill there. Navi get their second one up on the scoreboard. <clears throat> this has turned into a pretty quiet mid game here. It's yeah. usually when the team fight starts to erupt, but oh, well, there's the blink yeah. dagger on Tiny. Shows it off right on the puck. Dendi falls straight away, but now the coconut Ooh. bouncing around like crazy from hero to hero. Wisp has to break his tether. Death Ward does some decent damage. Centaur ults away, and it looks like Iceberg as well as Van score. We'll be able to survive the onslaught. That was a really late central affected though from this lineup. Like if you're not ahead by this point, you're doing something wrong. Like you yeah, dual lane mid, you should win that lane. The dual lane. Oh, here we go, right on the PSN. Toss up in the air, and the Witch Doctor just gets like, executed. He's off the board though. Oh, here we go. Hobos comes in. Green coil on two. Dendi drops the full combo. Wisp dies. Now Iceberg's left all alone. Snowball coming forward. Hobos backs out and the Iceberg will be trapped in the ice shards. How poetic. Phase shift from Dendi as the avalanche connects on two. He's juking. He's jiving. Now Gordian and Artez are in the mix and they'll turn it around. They drop the hammer on the tusk. And it's Navi that gets the short end of the stick on that one. That Winter's Curse though. That was beautiful. Stopping him. Honestly? That was sick now. Big plays from the time. Oh. All right, so we'll split push in here up top. Artez as well as always want to fly, pressure in the tier one. Oh, where we have that's what you're talking about, Shane. That's a snake. Oh, getting some pressure here in the mid. Oh, the soul rip just in time. Iceberg left all his uh, all by his lonesome. You know, both trying to chip Did away he at him. But that's two times out. with level one craggy. That's actually Did so annoying. Yeah, yeah, the AM did twice. Oh my god. That's like Troll Warlord levels. 10% of the time, every time. Alright, Goryats comes in, wants the hook stop, but can't quite find it. Now the orb across. Iceberg goes in on the Funnick. Again, Funnick gets off the Soul Rip. Now the team fight starts to break out. PSM gets his ult interrupted right away on the backside. Centaur ends up dying in Artez. He'll be isolated over there. Centaur as well as the Slardar will be the two that fall. And Iceberg and Vanscore turn this around. It's not looking so hot. The Wisp is low and the Wisp will fall. Iceberg gets the kill on the Undying before he goes down here, but it is a three on one. The chase is on. And this tiny will be turned into rubble. Oh, he breaks down Hippos first. He's on the run now. They will bring him down with auto attacks. Not quite as bad as the CIS rejects as I thought at first glance. Yeah, but the problem is they lost four heroes and they're quite content to have uh, Havos have space to farm. Yeah, I get this feeling that they're going to wait for Iceberg to finish up his Agonims now. He's only about 500 gold away and that will really increase their damage output. Just having that cleave area. Oh, Dream Coil on two. In comes Havos. He's going to start chipping away at the Wisp. Oh, Death Ward on the high ground. The orb cuts on the cross and Wisp will die first. Iceberg going to get the Stampede, but it's just not enough here. Draskal will give him the Walrus Punch and that's a double kill for Dendi. Nice. Stop Ward again. Yeah, that ward is actually just doing so much work. Yeah. We don't have anything for Witch Doctor. But you can also say that about like any item, right? Yeah, but it's it's more of a case in in, in so you're saying, like, because Blink okay, and shit, right? most items you have to use it, and then it's an instant thing. You know what I mean? Like you have like uh, Shadow Shaman boards to get stronger. For him, it takes it takes a long time in a fight for it to build up and be like super effective. That's true. You can kind of play around in that. So well, they you want make a good point. Maybe they, they picked off Seneko. They get the tier one tower. Go. They get the tier one tower. They're pinging out Havos. They want him. They may get him. They've got a stampede. Winner's curse. Artez goes in. Reload. Kate and oh boy, do they get him? Did he actually catch him from fog? Yep. Because it it's like nighttime, it. right? Yep. Yeah. Radiance it wasn't pro enough to toggle so the So that's but why I like thought he was at team fights. Oh, right relocate back. Here we go. Dream coil on two. They'll be able to finish off the wisp. Now Dendi PSM going in on Goryets. He'll try and TP home, but that's not going to happen. Now Iceberg 
All left by himself. No witch friend to take Snowball. him home. He will try to TP, but Snowball gets it. And Navi, although they lost two before that fight, they turned it around. They picked up three of their own. How much? Quite Yules. He went Yules, yeah. Oh. <laughs> I was like, wait a minute, he's how, actually how... going dagger. Yeah, I was like, that's... I, I think it's pretty good against... Uh... No, I, I think it's good, too. It's okay, it's good against Wisp. You just yeah, burst exactly. him down. Yeah, exactly. Wyvern's also squishy as well. Yeah. And picking out first is big. Your one tower gets denied by Dendi. Slithering crush on two. Snowball in. It just barely clips Artez. Walrus punch to follow up. Flesh goal and two. So it's the whole kit and caboodle. Agorius comes in to break it up. Dendi whips the waning rift, but connects the spoil on just a few. Can they actually follow up for this? Yes, they can. Hobos finishes off the whip. Centaur gets killed in the peripheral. And, uh, yeah, that's a two for nil. Nice setup there by Na'Vi. What's a kit and caboodle? I've heard people say it a lot. I just Isn't it a British term? I always think of 101 Dalmatians. Like, ah, oh, the whole kit and caboodle. We're getting plenty like of boodle for everything. I don't know what the literal kit and caboodle is. I think boot. Well, I don't know what a cub boodle is. Boodle is like loot, kind of like you know, like a, a get all the loot. Yeah, like it's I all know. of it. You I think that's a, an apt explanation for what just happened. That was a very nice mana void, by the way. Yeah, a lot of damn players would have been tempted to just mana void the freaking wisp, right? Oh, Ooh. they're going in again, boys. They want the winter wyvern. She's silenced. She's brought down, and they didn't have to pay with their tusk now. They also got the tier one tower. Uh, Hasted up, Dendi will be able to just scoot back. Funic goes with the YOLO TP in the tree line. He'll be fine. And Slytherin Guard! Uh-oh, he's slithering on forward, finds PSM, hits him with an amp damage. Is the follow-up gonna be there, though? Teammates are on the way, Coconut bouncing around, but it doesn't matter. The Witch Doctor, they'll cut off his dreads and stick him up his butt. Down he goes. I that one was a little bit weird. Yeah. Yep. Roche is tanky. Yeah, I mean, they don't have any minus armor. Yeah, no, this is a fairly Well, they safe do, version. but it's on the it's on the tusk. <laughs> oh, they haven't been not there. actually helping. Yeah, there. he's not there. Uh oh, you guys got it. Uh oh, in comes our Ted. He's gonna break up the party. Tombstone on the high ground. This is a ten second oh, BKB. Of both getting bashed up like crazy. Winner's curse comes out on the Dendi. This could be a disaster here for Navi. The Tombstone is gonna do some work. Ogoria. He'll hop into the ice cube. The cold embrace keeps him okay. They've already lost the Witch Yay. Doctor. Funic. He's still alive. He's got so much damn strength. But can they bring him down? Snowball Little finish off the Centaur. Now always gonna fly. Caught by the Walrus punch. Iceberg's on the high ground, he gets the tombstone, Roche is damn low, and everyone on CIS reject are as well. Dendi now, he's bought back. The blink out from Tiny, Dendi not gonna find him, but now Navi, they wanna commit to Roche. Iceberg they have slide as well, here. they can finish this. The Amp is giving a mission though, he wants to go back in. Ooh. Oh, the crush right on the two, Funnick getting slapped around a little bit, but there's a Dream Coil, Hobos is gonna try to finish it, they'll get the Roche, Aegis goes the way of the Anti-Mage, now Yule's set up onto the Tiny. Iceberg's gonna have to pay with his life here. A risky play from Na'Vi, but in the end it works out, they get the Roche, and they take a pretty decent team fight as well. How yep. do you kill Funic when you get so actually, like... many decay stacks? He, at one point he had 2800 health. Oh, Gorius, is he dead here as well? Mana Void? Oh, Havos didn't quite pull out the calculator on that one. One more hit was all he needed. I, I think it's strange that Tusk didn't help him with the Lotion though. Especially since he had he the probably to put him up. I think yeah. so, yeah. Oh, I thought he like blinked. I thought he backed up. I don't and think you voluntarily clip yourself in that situation. Well, I thought he just wanted to kill the tombstone. Uh oh. Speaking of situations, Ooh. Dendi gets taken out in the mid. A lot of burst damage there. He is 1.6. Oh like God, he's dead. There's a ward there. You fool. Oh my. Okay, oh, so I oh. think engaging as well. Oh, good call. Next, used by Van Score. Can I actually catch him here? Yep. Not to burn the dream coil to do it oh, though. Two look. seconds until he hops out, and they've got the damage. Yeah. That yeah, will pick off there, not so shabby. And a double damage for Havos. Uh, that's true. Sun yeah. Ranch. Oh, oh, they're lining up on Funic here. The smoke rotation from the rejects. Here we go. Slithering Crush in. They're just going to bash him down. A relocate to boot. Man, oh man. Oh my god. They brought the pain to that one. They still have a fortifier. Yeah. They're use it for the 15. It's fine to commit this though because they guarantee a tower at least. Well, it's oh, like Shane talked about it. If you can jump on the Undying, that's almost your prime target to start a fight. Winner's Curse on the Goria. It's not going to do a hell of a lot. Ooh, They're going to get the Witch Doctor on the backside here. Havos oh. is BKB. He's coming on in. Tiny trying to chase back the supports. That's... Mike Lester 10 second BKB is all around this game. This is actually a really good situation though for CIS. Like, they actually Manta style already. You have to back up. Because the amount of physical damage that CIS rejects have is too much too. Yeah. They actually are in really big trouble right now. Yeah, yeah that's where you regret clipping that here too, if you don't think they're going to siege high ground. Finally, they'll just finish off the melee barracks. Now the coil comes out on three, but they don't even seem to care. They're just going to stand through it, finish off the range barracks. Now Vos pops in, there's the Manta, but BKB's partner hits up with a crush. But Vos taking huge damage. The Soul Rip isn't enough, but remember, he had the Aegis. 
No, he didn't. He lived. I lied. Okay. Snowball. Snowball. That's the one that reset it. Now Van Score. He'll get finished off. Dendy hops in the middle of the fight. There's your death ward. Doing a lot of damage to Iceberg. He goes down and always want to fly. Will get left behind. He'll try to TP home and they actually don't have the interrupt. He'll be able to make it out. But a good hold from Navi. No buybacks used there. Well, I, can, I, can you really call it a hold? They lost both their barracks. Yeah, I mean, so, it's still a win. For exactly. Yeah. And that's, that's a... All right, so CIS Rejects saw the smoke. I think this is a trap. They're pinging it out. Okay. Take a look at Dire Vision. They Center only see a couple of them. Uh-oh. You're going to spring this trap, silly Yugi? The boast, he loses his smoke. Oh, they send him Funnick. Always want to fly, goes in. Funnick in the front line. Score hits with a hook stun. Goes right on the PSM. They'll bring him down first. But they had to lose their Winter Wyvern. Both teams trading a big support with their ultimates on cooldown. Now the BKBs That's get the popped up plenty. Havos taking a lot of damage. Gets off a mana void. Van Score just barely lives. But not for long. He'll get brought down by Havos. Score hits does a lot of damage to himself to try and do the return damage. It's just not enough. Navi have the damage to take this fight. Oh. The Whomping Willow <laughs> takes down Undying. Maybe they don't have enough. The Bash Brothers are in town, and they're going to get another one. They'll bring down the Tusk. That makes it a three for three. And now the Great Chase. All the elusive heroes are left alive, and Iceberg says, oh, let's just go into Roche, buddy. You've got hey, that minus armor. Actually, it's better than Jesus. All right, all right. Here we go. Glyph is used here. Navi needs to be careful now. It's just Barracks left. The boat goes hopping in, and that's going to cost him. They've got a lot of damage. He pops the BKB, but it's not enough. He'll be the first to fall in this fight, and now Navi are starting to crumble. Sineko's the second to go down. Funnick stunned by Artez. The BKB and R gives him the bash to the face. Now Havos uh, jumps in on the van score after buying back here. But he gets back, he gets brought down. It's a bloody dieback for the anti mage, a triple kill for the Slardar. And I think Draskal's right on the money. The GG gets called. Yeah. Well, yeah, pump it into submission sometimes, Shane. <laughs> I mean, I every <laughs> once in a while, you just gotta walk up and just give somebody the dry hump, I guess. I think, uh, yeah. Yeah, but we always win, Shane, because we're the